The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Exodus. Moses went and told the people all Yahweh's words and all the laws. And all the people answered with one voice, All the words Yahweh has spoken we will carry out. Moses put all Yahweh's words into writing. And early next morning he built an altar at the foot of the mountain with twelve standing stones for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then he sent certain young Israelites to offer burnt offerings and sacrifice bullocks to Yahweh as communion sacrifices. Moses then took half the blood and put it into basins, and the other half he sprinkled on the altar. Then taking the Book of the Covenant, he read it to the listening people who then said, We shall do everything that Yahweh has said. We shall obey. Moses then took the blood and sprinkled it over the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant which Yahweh has made with you, entailing all these stipulations. And our response is taken from Psalm 116. What return can I make to Yahweh for his generosity to me? I shall take up the cup of salvation and call on the name of Yahweh. Costly in Yahweh's sight is the death of his faithful. I beg you, Yahweh, I am your servant, I am your servant, and my mother was your servant. You have undone my fetters. I shall offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of Yahweh. I shall fulfill my vows to Yahweh, witnessed by all his people. In our second readings from the letter to the Hebrews. But now Christ has come as the high priest of all the blessings which were to come. He has passed through the greater, the more perfect tent, not made by human hands, that is, not of this created order, and he has entered the sanctuary once and for all, taking with him not the blood of goats and bull calves, but his own blood, having won an eternal redemption. The blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a heifer sprinkled on those who have incurred defilement may restore their bodily purity. But how much more will the blood of Christ, who offered himself blameless as he was to God through the eternal spirit, will purify our conscience from dead actions so that we can worship the living God. This makes him the mediator of a new covenant so that now that a death has occurred to redeem the sins committed under an earlier covenant, those who have been called to an eternal inheritance may receive the promise. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb was sacrificed, his disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go into the city and you will meet a man carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him. And say to the owner of the house which he enters, The master says, Where is the room for me to eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large upper room, furnished with couches, all prepared. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples set out and went to the city and found everything as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover. And as they were eating, he took bread, and when he had said the blessing, he broke it and gave it to them. Take it, he said, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he handed it to them, and all drank from it. And he said to them, this is my blood, the blood of the covenant poured out for many. In truth, I tell you, I shall never drink wine anymore until the day I drink the new wine in the kingdom of God. And after the Psalms had been sung, they left for the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord.